On today's episode, we are back on the sandblasting. We finally get started on pointing in the jeet. We find ourselves down the murky depths of our well. And I take on a humongous project with a really tight deadline. We had the absolute pleasure of having your godparents yeah. come and stay with us, Josiane and Duncan. So we took them to the well, must-see market in Easy Jack, which is just wonderful. And also this time of year, it's just magical, isn't it? I was so surprised at how busy it still was. Yeah, but that's the thing with Easy Jack, it's always alive and buzzing. Well, then we had Kurt arriving with Tim. Yeah, yeah with Tim. Extra so... pair of hands. Another uh, wonderful friend that has been helping us well, throughout the renovations when he can, which has been just phenomenal. And the two of them are quite the dream team, aren't they? And they were here to help us both do the sandblasting and raking out all the joints before it would be pointed again. And so we had this massive delivery of, of sand ready for the sandblasting. It's really detailed work, isn't it? In terms of getting it run, uh, done. Well, it's certainly very satisfying because you can really see the difference almost in, in, in immediately uh, as the sand kind of brushes off years of grime. But incredibly messy work and you can't really be in there to film whilst it's happening. No, not without a lot of protective gear on. And then of course the cleanup operation afterwards that we always get left with. It's when I say we. It's a bit of a, yeah. It mostly falls on you. Raking sand in Sahara is what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, maybe a good sand pit for Noah if it, it wasn't full of lime, which was massively corrosive. But the finished result was stunning. Beautiful. No, I'm so glad we've done this. It makes a huge difference. And then we had the really important task of pointing the walls in our future sheet. Painfully slow work. Thankfully, Kurt and Tim were absolute superstars. I think they were working until past midnight because yeah. I had to go and pick them up in the, in the rain. Well, exactly, because of the lime well, drying at different speeds. Yeah, across different parts of the wall. And it had to be uh, scraped and then brushed. And all of that takes several hours, especially in, the, in those wet conditions. They then had <laughs> the idea that they wanted to, well, in fairness, it was our idea that we needed to sandblast on the second floor. Yeah, right. We were trying to figure out the best way to get the sandblaster up. Uh, for some reason, we thought the staircase wasn't a good idea, so they decided to get out the winch. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it is tipping forward, but go on. Go. Yeah. Listen out, listen out for the crunch. All, all was fine. And you managed, so... That's yeah, we got, it, we got it done. And then they were gone, and so it was just us. It always leaves a huge hole when, when they leave. Yeah, because we see so much forward momentum, don't we? Yeah. And so it is a shame to see them go. But we still had the sandblaster for a few days, so I set myself the task of getting more done. So today I am doing some more uh, taking off the plaster of the walls. The old plaster, which has kind of become a bit sodden and rotten with water. And then... The idea being that I will hopefully get around to sandblasting some of it as well uh, to return the stone back to its natural white. As you can see behind me at the moment, it's uh, more of a <laughs> browny colour. So I'm really hoping to, to make some good progress. We'll see how we get on. But you really did. And you got a really good hang on the machine as well. It was clawing up like crazy, but you managed to sort that out pretty well. Yeah, got it going pretty smoothly. You managed to get a few shots of me outside. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, again, the finished results, every time, such a difference. Yeah, no, really, I'm so, so pleased that we've done this. It's like a facelift. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for a thousand year old chateau.
was doing that, you were out in the garden, planting flowers and starting fires. And then we, it was Christmas time, so we were off yeah. to back to the UK. Oh, and the UK at Christmas is magical, isn't it? In Greenwich especially. So this um, was us in Greenwich. Yeah, and then we were off to Folkestone. Yeah, to celebrate with your family. Noah, your bump has yeah. So yeah, so you could really see your bump, which is lovely. And then once back, we were checking out the, the wall, which was drying nicely. And then we had, um, we were trying to test the debit of, our, of the water in our well for the geothermy that we were really hoping to get in. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Um, so, but what we did get to do... Yeah, was venture down into the, the well, because first, the, the really funny crew, there was a funny team on there. Um, <laughs> yeah. So first, yeah. drain it, and then clear out the old drudge, and they found a lot of stuff in there. And once it was all clear, they asked us to go down there ourselves. Yeah, which was so much fun. It's like a miniature adventure in your yeah. backyard. That's a far way down, Nick. Eh? How many meters? Wow. Quite frightened to see how how deep it is. So deep. We. And then as a little treat, we caught up with my sister and her partner. Yes, and then skiing. Yeah, and you went hiking mostly. Well, I didn't ski. Being pregnant is not a good idea, but I like, went for amazing, amazing walks. Yeah, so we went skiing in the Pyrenees with Claire and Greg. Yeah, which was phenomenal, actually. Was we were really worried about the, the snow because it hadn't snowed for weeks, but um, thankfully, for some reason, Andorra had kept their slopes in pretty good condition. Um, but we all did all on the last day managed to go hiking together, didn't we? Which was lovely. Yeah, no, that was really, really beautiful. And then back in Saint Julien, we'd gone for a scan, hadn't we? Yeah. To get yeah. a little update on Miss, on Monsieur. Yeah. <laughs> and we could see his little legs and his feet and things growing. They're incredibly detailed in France. It's absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, we got a huge catalogue of pictures of him. Yeah. Which we shared with family. And which friends. is super fun. Yeah, no, it's so, so cute to see him. And then yeah, look, well, what? case in point, there you are, clearing away all the sand that. Kurt had uh, blasted everywhere yeah. for all the sandblasting. Um, Not the most fun task, but it has to be done. But you did, again, an amazing job. Um, it's just sad, again, to know that <laughs> what I'm on right now has made it just as dirty. Huge mess, yeah. Oh, dear. And then you were off to Sweden for, for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 
which left me family. yeah which left me to my own devices but we had a really tight deadline because we had the builders coming in to lay the concrete foundations for the jeet and and they needed to replace a couple of the beams above because they were broken and so i had to clear the entire first floor from a the rubble that was left that hadn't been finished and then all the floorboards had to be taken up yeah that was a huge huge challenge to do that all on by yourself as well. yeah and i got that done i think in one weekend which was crazy So this just shows you how <laughs> dodgy the, the floorboard is below. And uh, yeah, um, really glad to have put out some, some, uh, some OSB boards to kind of really take the weight and spread the load um, because otherwise I could have been passing through the floorboards again. So uh, I'm almost done lifting up all the floor, just in time. We've got the builders coming in on, I think Wednesday or Thursday this week. They will replace two of the beams. So as you can see behind me, I need to still lift up all of this rubble so they can get to the beams below and replace them. Then we need to refloor all of this level, which will become essentially the roof of the jeet once it's done. Uh, and also the floor for our living quarters uh, once we get that far, but we're not there yet. So. Uh, The last couple of shovels, I found a, an old tomato, canned tomato tin from 1960s. But also, very intriguingly, an old envelope parcel, which had uh, someone's name on it of, of French nobility, from one of the one of the French knights. <laughs> 